Today we'll be looking at some random items from around the ANU on our specialized microscopes here at CAM on a tiny, tiny scale down to a cellular scale. So the first thing that we're going to look at today is something you will have heard buzzing very loudly around campus for the last few weeks. It's a cicada. So here we have it. This is the eye of the cicada and you can see each of the individual omatidia, parts of the compound eye of the insect. Our next specimen is a feather, a single white feather, probably from a cockatoo or a corella. And we're going to look at it with 100 times magnification. All right, here we have the feather at 100 times magnification. And what we're looking at is naturally occurring autofluorescence. And you can see the individual interlocking barbs of the feather shafts. So the next thing we're going to look at is some printed paper. Okay, here we have it. This is a printed color on a page. And we can see each individual dot of cyan, yellow, or magenta that the printer lays down to make all of the visible colors that we can see in print. Uh, this is at 50 times magnification. Okay, our next specimen is a flower. Common weed found across campus. And what we're gonna do is see if we can get some pollen out of the flower. Here you go, individual grains of pollen on the microscope. This time we're looking at around or more than 400 times magnification. You get to see the, the hidden detail in uh, stuff from everyday life. Getting to see the tiny details of these biological structures in our microscope and getting to assist with all sorts of different kinds of research and important research uh, is really exciting. I love doing it. Mm -hmm.